guys, hope you're alright. Um, weather ain't great today, but it is what it is. I'm uh, going to start drilling in a minute to um, put in the bottom drain. Jason here yet, I expect he'll be here in a couple hours hopefully. He's playing golf, lucky bugger. Anyway, I'll spin you around and show you what, what I'm going to do. Might have un <coughs> emptied out the shed. I worked out where I want to core drill down um, for the bottom drain, which we'll obviously on the other side go through where you've seen um, to pick up the bottom drain. Which hopefully, they should line up quite quite easily. It's just starting to pee down even more. So, uh, yeah. There's a few more mugs, they're all in together now. <coughs> Starting from left to right, we've got Michael, just a koi. And then we've got Mark from Mark's Country Koi. And then we've got middle left, Dave from Koi Karma. And then we've got middle right, Davy Boy from Davy Koi. And my new ones, uh, Jim from it's what I do, and far right is Phil from yeah Phil G from Phil G's koi pond. Yeah, super duper. Right, this is the drill I'll be using. The core drill I'll be using. It's a proper core drill. Fucking, that's a beast I can tell you. I'll be uh, hopefully going through the block then everything like a hot knife and butter um i've got nobody here to help film me film it at the moment so uh well shall i show you it in action um but yeah i can tell you it's a beast right guys i've gone down as far as i can go with the core drill bit now get me big fat head out of it i'm gonna try to get the light shining on it if i can um yeah it's about i don't know 18 inches maybe a bit more down there right i've got to now go out, go into the pond and dig back and uh, hopefully the hose will marry up but yeah happy with that right guys the pipe works in just waiting for my mate jay to turn up now nice neat little hole I have to trim that saw part down a little bit though without cutting that airline. But yeah, so I give me fat fingers out of the way. Just come at the ring. Show it. I've just put a bit of sand in at the moment. We will be putting more sand over the top of that. Um, and then the underlay, underlay, underlay. And uh, probably shore up a couple of sides. And then it's liner time, but it won't be today. I'll be in for another time, that. Eh? Hopefully next Sunday. Hello, guys. Um, I thought I'd just um, take you over. Oh. Great camera work. Um, I'll take you over to um, where I've got rid of all the soil, just to show you how much over the last past month I've actually got rid of. Um, so yeah, I'll take you over and show you. Right, this is where I've been um, getting rid of all the stone, not most, but most of the stone, the soil, shit it, and all the rest of it. Over the past month, I think it was the 11th of uh, December I started. There's the uh, marks where I got the van stack. Stupid prat. And I've been lugging it all the way from back there. As you can see the shit I've made all the way across here. About 90% of that stone pretty much made a, an island. Clearly those patches here weren't anything to do with me. But in between what I've done here been a fair bit of soil when you see it like this you think oh, I've grown all I've moved a fair bit 
so um oh, a bit of a reflective mood here um yeah and there's there's several guys on here that i know have done very similar things um i'm, I'm sure they'll agree with me on this point to any any person out there that is thinking about digging their own pond um don't take it lightly because it isn't an easy job and if you've got a digger then probably it is but if you're doing it by yourself and doing it by hand it ain't gonna be easy um but what i will say is uh go for it but don't give up right there's gonna be times where you'll be in in the pit looking around and thinking what the fuck have i done you know i've done it and i suppose everybody else has done it but just keep plugging away because you will get there and those uh when you're sitting by the by your pond the fish are there you've got a nice glass of wine or you know kind of cider or lager or ale you'll be thinking yeah i've done that you'll be, you'll be chuffed to bits and over the moon so go for it and don't give up all right i'm done for the day i've started laying the um under late <coughs> a few other patches i need to put in need to pack out that little bit there um yeah we're getting there we're getting there evening all how's everyone right it's that time i'm so excited i could crush a grape i'm so excited i could jump over a doze house I'm so excited even Ruby the dogs here watch it, you know, wants to get involved in it. So we're gonna do the uh two hundred subscriber draw. Um so what we're gonna do, I was gonna do like a quarter final, semi-final, then a final type thing. So but what I'm gonna do, because that'll be too long winded, is I want to do draw four uh names out on the wheel of doom. And then from those four, we'll go into two and the two down to the, obviously the winner. All right, so that's what we're going to do. So uh, I'm going to, um, I've got the wife's phone, so I'm going to um, record a little bit on there, off of my phone onto the wife's phone. Yeah, it's, anyway, you'll get the gist of it. All right, so I'll be coming straight back with the winner. Right then, everybody, good luck. So like I say, I want to draw four names out of the hat and the four names will go into the next round. All right, so best of luck, everybody. Here we go. He's going to be the first one out. Oh, first one into the semi-final is Stephen Thompson. Right, here's the second one. Good luck, everyone. Who's left in? Simondo Ellis. Nice one. Right, here we go. Next one. Augustin, congratulations, you've made the semi-final. And here we go, here's for the final spot in the semi-finals. Come on, my big fat fingers. Good luck. The Naked Biker. Congratulations. Right then, guys, here's the semi-final. We've got Simondo Ellis. We've got Stephen Thompson. We've got Augustin Hulopoos. I hope I pronounced that right. I don't think I have, but anyway. And the Naked Biker. 
Right, two out of the hat here, guys. Good luck. The Naked Biker. Don't know why it's got Stephen Thompson on the end of it, but anyway, we're well on the Naked Biker. And here we are for the second spot in the final. Who will it be? Stephen Thompson. Congratulations. It's between yourself and the Naked Biker. Right, so who's it going to be? Is it going to be Stephen Thompson? His name's on the top there. I made a boo boo there. Am I, am I preempting this? Or is it going to be the Naked Biker? Good luck, guys. This is for the five kilo bag of JPD Shogun. Ooh, so excited, isn't it? The Naked Biker, congratulations, mate. You've won the five kilo bag of JPD Shogun. Well, congratulations to the Naked Biker. Cheers, my buddy. Uh, yeah, well done. Um, yeah, thanks to everybody who's uh, um, subscribed and uh, participated into the uh, competition. Um, yeah, spread the word. If any, you know, it'd be great if we can get more people to subscribe to the channel. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to enjoy my glass of wine. I'm knackered. I'm going to uh, end this video. Guys, have a great week, rest of the weekend. And uh, Naked Biker, I'll be, uh, hopefully, be in contact. Take care. Cheerio. Thank you for watching Popsy's Koi.